It started roughly in 1889. It was my grandfather or my great-great-grandfather who started it. And, um, and I take taken over from my father, um, which we are now here in his shop. And uh, my daughter is joining me now as well. A few years ago, I diversified and went into bakery. It's a lovely little baker shop there. We produce all our own cakes and that, and they are so tempting. And then we've got a deli at the top of the street. Great deli. Inside the deli, there's olives, there is cooked meats, there is pies. The whole place is packed with different things. We try and have as much North Norfolk things as we can. We have a fishmonger's, which is a little bit further down from the street from our butchers, all fresh fish. That comes in in the mornings and it's all on a lovely ice bed. It looks gorgeous. Not only do we butcher in the shop, out the back we have our own abattoir, which we really like having our own abattoir because the actual animal only comes in 10 miles at the most. So their stress level is a lot less. We were very lucky to win East Anglia Award um, as well as Butcher of the Year, which is a great accolade to us. And to get the final one, which is Retailer of the Year, just, I, it made me speechless. It's so nice for us as a family, but more than that, it's for our staff. Our staff really, it, it, it's so nice that someone else has said how good they are. Here I am in Wells next to the sea in northernmost Norfolk. Arthur Howell, not only a great butcher, farming pedigree, his daughter Alex is a fifth generation. They typify to me what great food and drink producers and retailers are all about. It's all about local. They can tell you the story about everything. He's cutting down on food miles. These are great, great people we should cherish. Develop a relationship with your butcher, fishmonger, your deli, your farm shop, your local market, if you're lucky enough to have them. And if we look after them and support them, as 17,000 people have done by registering their support online for the local food producers, then we should really cherish them and nurture them for years to come.